Astrobots is packed with more than 150 so-called VIP bots that are meticulously skinned as various characters from PlayStation's 30 year history. Ranging from cute cameo appearances to fully themed levels with unique gameplay mechanics, these brilliantly animated bots make perfect subjects for the game's photo mode camera. The only thing is that shooting them all isn't quite as straightforward as it might seem. That's because by the time you actually unlock the camera, you'll likely have rescued around half of the bots already, sending them back to the crash site and leaving a large silver coin in their place in the original levels. While the crash site is a wonderful bonanza of nostalgia where you can get some fun shots of the bots that you do rescue, the setting there is very limited. And there's also this problem that the photomod camera doesn't go right down to ground level, so it just restricts what you can actually do with them there. In the actual levels meanwhile, many of the bots can be found in more interesting locations that are sometimes more in keeping with the character themselves. They might also be in places that the camera can reach more freely if they're higher off the ground for example. The result is just more interesting shots of these character bots and certainly some that most people won't have thought to capture. To do this then, here's how to preserve those VIP bots in their original levels so they can be revisited once you get the photomod camera. Also if you stick around to the end, you'll see all of the discoverable photo board locations that are hidden throughout the game too. The photo mode in Astrobot is admittedly a very basic one, with a small range of movement, no zoom, and just a rudimentary autofocus to add any sort of photographic effect. Despite that though, you've still got to put in quite a bit of work to actually get it, by first collecting 64 of the 116 puzzle pieces that are scattered across the planets. That means playing through at least the first three galaxies, as well as finding some of the pieces in the lost galaxy levels, and at the crash site before getting access to the camera. After finding those 64 pieces, the Safari Park booth will be unlocked at the crash site, along with a Polaroid style camera that is then available by pressing up on the D-pad at any time. Of course, getting to this point also means it's necessary to rescue a certain number of bots, with a specific number required to unlock each boss to progress, so you'll have to take a selective approach to saving them right from the start. Probably the best way to do this is to use more than one of the three available save slots on the start screen. Having one completed save with all of the bots rescued is a must, just so you can have a fully populated crash site to enjoy every brilliant animation and accessory that can be acquired from the gacha prize machines. The second save is then where you can pick and choose which bots to rescue and which to preserve in their respective levels by simply not rescuing them, though you do have to collect some remember. 120 in fact to reach the third galaxy boss. Thankfully there are a lot of generic non-VIP bots that can add to the tally and even some of the fancy ones are really not worth holding onto anyway. The bots in the shape trials for example, all of them are VIPs but they can't be seen doing anything novel so I decided to rescue all of those along the way to help make up the numbers. You can also freely capture all of the ape escape apes because they will reappear in their level and there's a few VIPs that actually have to be rescued before you can even move on, like Ratchet in the first level, who has to be freed in order to cross the next gap. Okay, so it's not possible to preserve every bot in a single save, but you can certainly decide which bots you think are worth revisiting and which are not. Plus there's a little bit of leeway to keep a few of the more interesting non-VIPs as well if you like. In case you hadn't noticed by the way, the level info shows the bots in the order that you can find them, and identifies which bots are normal and which are VIPs thanks to the golden PlayStation symbols. Whichever you do choose to rescue and which to preserve, you should eventually be able to progress far enough to collect the 64 puzzle pieces and revisit your favourite bots once you've got access to that little photo mode camera. And while you're there, don't forget the photo boards that I mentioned earlier too. There's 19 of them in total and each is a delightful scene in a fairground light photo opportunity that will trigger a fun animation with the level's other inhabitants once you stick Astro's iconic face in the hole. Or if you'd rather, just keep watching to see them all right here.
。